Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and this week is going to be the beginning of something a little bit different because we are going to do a crochet along uh, over the next few weeks and the crochet along this cowl is going to be for a children's road play mat. So, and uh, over the next few weeks, uh, each Friday, I'm going to be showing you how to make a new square to go on this play mat, which each is going to be a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square. And that is in inches. Let's work that out quickly. 10 centimeters is four inches. So they're going to be four inches by four inches, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeter squares. And uh, over the next few weeks, I'm going to show you how to make a different square. And at the very end, I'll show you how to join them all together to make a play mat or a little blanket. So, and it's going to be full of different textures as well. So it's going to be really exciting uh, for little ones. Um, so what you're going to need in this, this week, this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a straight road piece and some grass as well. So some grass like this, quite textured. Um, but what you're going to need for this, this week, we need some green, white, and gray DK light worsted weight yarn. So that's a yarn weight of three. But over the next few weeks, you're going to need some additional colors as well. We're gonna be using some yellow DK light worsted weight yarn. And we're gonna be using some brown DK light worsted weight yarn. And we're gonna need some blue as well, if I can fit that in. Some blue DK light worsted weight yarn as well. It's also a good idea to have some extra bright colours as well, some pink and orange maybe, because we're going to be making some little flowers as well. So it's going to be a fun project. Um, but I'll show you each week what colours you need for that particular pattern. Um, but for this video, we need some green, white and grey DK light worsted weight yarn. And we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E crochet hook. And we're going to be using the same hook um, for each square. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Okay, so let's begin with these two squares. <laughs> So the first square we're going to begin with is the straight road piece first and what we're going to do is we are going to chain 18 half double crochet foundation stitches. Now if uh, you're new to the foundation stitch you can either check out my video uh, which shows how to do that in more detail, although I'll go fairly slowly, or if you prefer you can chain instead and you would need to chain 19 and then do one half double crochet in your third stitch from hook and then one half double crochet in each stitch along and then that would give you your 18 and the little two chains at the end when you worked into your third stitch and hook would count as your last half double crochet but I'm going to show you how to do the half double crochet foundation stitch because it gives a nicer finish so we are going to do our little slip knot first slip knot and then what we want to do is we want to just chain two Okay, so chain two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to put our hook into our first chain. Okay, and then bring the yarn through your first chain. You've got your three loops. And then what we do is we yarn over and then what we effectively do is a chain one because we just pull the yarn through the first loop only. And what that does is that creates a little um, chain, as it were, a foundation chain on the left hand side. And then we've got our three loops and we do our half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, pull through all three as if doing a normal half double crochet. But then what we want to do is we want to work into this little V that we created on the left hand side for the next one. So there's our first half double crochet foundation stitch. We're going to yarn over and finding that little upside down V. We're going to put our hook in there. You want to make sure you go under both bits of the V, both bits of yarn, like so. And then we're going to bring the yarn through the upside down V. And we've got our three loops again. And we're going to do the same thing again. We need to create our little foundation chain. So we do our yarn over, pull for the first loop only, as if doing like a little chain one. And you can see that's created another upside down V. 
And then we've got our three loops and we do our normal half double crochet stitch. Pull through all three. And there we go, there's our second half double crochet foundation stitch. And as you can see, you've now got two. There was our first one. Do, do. And then there's our second one. There, just above my thumb. And that's our second one. It's the next one we're going to work into. So we yarn over. And then we find that second upside down V, making sure to go under both bits of yarn. Then we bring the hook through and do the same thing again. Create our foundation chain. So we just pull through the first loop only. That creates our next, our third upside down V. And then we do our half double crochet. There we go. There's our next third upside down V. And we need 18 of these. So we've done three so far. So let's carry on going into the third upside down V on the left hand side. Do the same thing again, pull for the first loop only to create your next chain and then do your half double crochet. There's our fourth one. Same thing again, go into the next upside down V you created. Pull for the first loop only, always remember to do that and pull through all three. And be careful not to go into these two loops here. You should have two pieces of yarn in between your chain here and your stitch. Okay, so make sure you don't go into one of those by accident. So yarn over, go into the next upside down V. And look for that upside down V. Okay, so we need to do 18 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the last one, 18, we go into that last upside down V on the left hand side. Come for the first loop only, pull through all three. And there we go, we've done 18 half double crochet foundation stitches and we're not going to count these first two chains at the very beginning as a stitch, we're going to count your first one there. Okay. So there we go, once you've got 18 half double crochet foundation stitches, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, and we're not going to count that as a stitch, it's just going to be a turning stitch. And then what you want to do is you want to work into these stitches on the right hand side now, so not these ones, these ones. So we're just going to turn, so we can work into these ones on the right hand side, turn it over. And we're going to do one half double crochet in that very first stitch. One half double crochet, and we do one half double crochet in each stitch across to the end. So one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch. Just making sure to go into the stitch as normal. So you've still got a stitch count of 18, 17, and the last one, 18, which should be a proper stitch. We're not going to work into these tiny little chains at the beginning. So there we go, we've done one half double crochet in that very first stitch, and one half double crochet in each stitch along. So you've still got a stitch count of 18, and we're not counting our little chain one on the end as a stitch. Okay? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce our grey in our chain one. So this little chain one we do at the end, which we're not counting as a stitch, normally we'd yarn over with the green. But instead, we're going to get our grey. Let's get your grey DK like was did right yarn. And I've got this really sort of kind of marly grey, so it's a really good colour for uh, a road. But you can pretty much choose any grey really or even a different colour for a road. But what we're going to do is we're just going to drape that over the hook instead and I'm just going to hold it with my finger, the tail end of my finger on the back and then I'm going to bring that through the loop on my hook and then just holding it again with the other finger I'm just going to pull my green tail end and now we've done a little technically a chain one we're not going to count that as a stitch and we're going to turn. We do the same thing again as our previous row 
I'm going to yarn over, go straight into that first stitch, straight into that first stitch, and do a half double crochet. I'm going to do one half double crochet in each stitch across to the end. And we're actually going to do this for five rows. So when we get to the end, we're going to chain one and turn and do one half double crochet in each stitch across. We're going to do that for five rows. So we've still got a stitch count of 18. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. Then chain one, don't count that as a stitch, turn and do one half double crochet in each stitch along in the opposite direction. We're going to do that for five rows, okay? So this is our first row, okay? Five rows. Okay, so just going up to the last couple of stitches on my fifth row. 17 and the last one, 18. There we go. So we should have done five rows of just one half double crochet in each stitch across. Chain one, don't count it as a stitch. Turn and then do one half double crochet in each stitch across. You should still have a stitch count of 18. And an easy way to remember how many rows you've done. You can see here you've got like little sort of rays of texture changes. In between those is two rows. You've got one, two, three, four. Five. So that's an easy way if you lose count of how many rows you've done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next row, which is going to be our white lines down the middle. So the first thing to do is to chain one in your grey, don't count as a stitch, and turn. And we're going to do one half double crochet in that very first stitch. One half double crochet in that first stitch. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch, but we're going to join our white. So the first thing to do, yarn over, go into the next stitch. Bring the yarn through as normal, but instead of yarning over with the grey to finish your half double crochet, we are going to get our white yarn and just drape that over your hook. I'm just going to hold that tail end at the back, yarn over with the white and pull that through all three loops to finish your half double crochet. And now we're working with the white. I'm just going to hold it again with this finger and just pull my grey down a little bit. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next six stitches in the white. So, But what we're going to do is we need to carry over the grey. So let's get that white tail end out of the way. Here's our grey. You don't want to fasten off the grey. You want to carry on working with this further down. So what we're going to do is yarn over, go into the next stitch as normal. What you want to make sure is make sure that your grey yarn that you're working with is just over the top of your hook as well. And then we're going to bring the yarn through, yarn over with the white, pull through all three to do your half double crochet. And just pull your grey a little bit just to make sure it's not too loose. And we'll do the same thing again. We need how many do we need? We need six of these. So we yarn over, go into the next stitch. Again, make sure that grey is over the top of your hook because you want to carry it through. Bring the yarn through and yarn over pull for all three for your half double crochet. There's our second one. Just make sure that's tight. Next one, the third one. Again, make sure that grey is over the top of your hook. Three. Next one. Four. Again, make sure the yarn's over the top of your hook. Four, next one, making sure that yep, grey yarn is being carried over. Five, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then in the last one, six, yarn over. Go into the stitch again, make sure that grey yarn's been carried over and it's on top of your hook. Bring the yarn through, but instead of yarning over with the white to finish, we're going to yarn over with the grey, and the grey should just be sat there because you've been carrying it through. So we're going to yarn over with the grey and bring that through our three loops. And now we're working with the grey. Just pull our white down. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next two in our grey. But again, we need to carry over the white. So it's the same thing again. We go into the next stitch and make sure your white yarn's over the top of your hook this time. Bring the yarn through. Yarn over, pull for all three. That's our first one. Just pull that white a little bit. And then the second one, so we want to do one half double crochet in the next two. 
go into the stitch again make sure the white's over the top of your hook bring the yarn through but instead of yarning over with the grey we need to swap back to the white so we yarn over with the white pull through all three now we're working with the white again just pull that grey down then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next six in our white but we need to make sure sorry about the background noise <laughs> we need to make sure to carry over our grey as well so we yarn over Go into the next stitch. Now make sure your grey is over the top of your hook. There's our first one, and we need six of these. So one, next stitch, two. Make sure that grey yarn's been carried over. Two, next stitch, three. Make sure the grey yarn's over the top of your hook. Three. Oops, totally missed the stitch. <laughs> Five, and then six, we go in. Again, make sure the grey is over the top of your hook. But instead of yarning over with the white, we need to swap back to the grey. So we're going to yarn over with the grey to finish our half double crochet. Okay, just pull our white a little bit. And then you can just leave your white. We don't need to carry that over anymore because we've finished with our white. We can just finish up with one half double crochet in the last two in our grey. So you don't need to carry over the white. There's one. And the very last stitch. Always slightly at an angle. Okay. Two. So there we go. There's our centre white lines and by joining the new colour in the end of the stitch when you finish the last stitch it creates a much neater finish so there we go and what we're going to do now actually is I'm going to cut the oh, the green yard if I can see and I'm going to cut down the white as well just to get those out of the way so we don't have a tangled mess so I'm going to finish with I'm going to carry on rather with the grey so now what we're going to do is chain one, don't count as a stitch and turn. I'm going to do one half dub double crochet, half double crochet in each stitch across as normal in our grey. We're not going to change colour. I'm going to do that for five rows again. So it's exactly the same as this part. So we go straight into that first stitch, do a half double crochet. And then we do one half double crochet in each stitch across. Then when we get to the end, we chain one and turn and do one half double crochet in each stitch across. And we need to do that for five rows again. So it's the same as this. Five rows. So I'm going to do that, just keeping a stitch count of 18. Just doing one half double crochet in the grey in each stitch across for five rows. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, just going up to the last couple of stitches on the fifth row, 17 and 18. And there we go. So I've done five rows of one half double crochet in each stitch cross. Chain one, turn, don't count that as a stitch. One half double crochet in that first one, one half double crochet in each stitch across, and I've done that for five rows. One, two, three, four, five. And what we're going to do now is just finish up with two rows of the green. We're going to join our green in our chain one. You must always remember to do that chain one when turning. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our green yarn. Uh, instead of yarning over with the grey, we're going to yarn over with the green. I'm just going to hold it, my finger at the back, bring that through the stitch on my hook, again hold it with the other finger and just pull the grey down. And now we're working with our green. So that's our chain one, we turn, don't count that as a stitch. And now we're working with our green, we're going to do one half double crochet in that very first stitch. And one half double crochet in each stitch across. I'm going to do that for two rows, two rows. So one half double crochet in each stitch across, keeping a stitch count of 18. Chain one, turn, don't count the chain one as a stitch, one half double crochet 
each stitch across to the end. So I'm just going to do that for two rows. So it's our first one here. Okay, so I'm just going up to the last couple of stitches on the second row. 17 and 18. There we go, make sure we don't miss that last one. So there we go, I've done two two rows in the green of one half double crochet in each stitch across, the chain one turn at the end. Uh, still got a stitch count of 18. So all that's left to do now is to cut our green and our grey, like so. And then I'm just going to pull that loop through, just pull the yarn through like so. And then all that remains to do now is to tie in our tail ends. So what we're going to do, I'll show you one. We just get our yarn needle and I'll show you on the white. Just thread that on. And what you want to do is thread through similar colour yarns. So with the white, I'm just going to thread it through there. I'm not going to pull too tight and just go back in the opposite direction a little bit to secure and then trim the excess down as close as you can and there we go we've tied in our tail end we're going to do that for all the rest of the tail ends and then i'll come back and show you the finished road square okay so i finished tying all my ends and there is our finished road piece which is actually reversible and that should match up with my other one so you want to make sure that you're working to at least two stitches per centimeter Two stitches per centimetre so make sure that your squares are all the same size and uh, so that, that we can crochet them together at the end so there we go and these will join together and the road starts to get longer Yay. so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to make the grass but for the road pieces the straight road pieces you want to make four straight road pieces you want four of these for our crochet along so you want to make four of those. But now we're going to move on to our grass. Okay, so for our grass, we're going to take the green, obviously. Let's move the grey out of the way. And we'll do the same thing again. We are going to create 18 half double crochet foundation stitches. Or if you prefer, you can chain 19, chain 19, and do one half double crochet in your third stitch from hook and your third stitch from hook you don't count the loop on your hook you just count three down start off with your first half double crochet in that third stitch from hook and do one half double crochet in each chain across and the little two chains at the end um, that you left when you crocheted into the first one will count as a half double crochet so you end up with 18 half double crochets but we're going to do 18 half double crochet foundation stitches. So I'll show you again quickly. Chain two to begin. Yarn over. Go into our first chain. Win the yarn through. So we've got three loops. Then we need to create our foundation chain. So we yarn over, pull through the first loop only, creates a little upside down V, yarn over pull through all three to do a half double crochet. Then we yarn over. For our next one we need to work into the upside down V we just created on the left hand side. So make sure you go under two bits of two bits of yarn. Bring the yarn through. Got your three loops. We need to create our foundation chain again. So we yarn over, pull through the first loop only to get that foundation chain upside down V. Then pull through all three for your half double crochet. We've done two now. The next one we would go into the next upside down V we created. Just like before when we did the road piece. And we want 18 of these. Okay, so just coming up to the last half double crochet foundation stitch. Again, working into that upside down V on the left hand side. Going under both bits of yarn. Through. Yarn over, pull for the first loop still, even though it's your last stitch. Yarn over, pull for all three. And there we go, we've got 18 half double crochet foundation stitches. Okay, 
And what we're going to do now is create our first row of grass. And to do the grass, we need to work the loop stitch. Now, I've done a video in more detail on the loop stitch, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And it is a little bit fiddly. So if you really, really struggle, you can just work 15 rows in just green of half double crochet uh, if you prefer. So just literally 15 rows in the green of one half double crochet in each stitch across, chain one turn, so on and so forth, 15 rows. But if you want to create this effect here, we are going to do the loop stitch. So the first thing to do is chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and turn. And we're going to do the half double crochet loop stitch, so it's a little bit different. To do that, we yarn over as normal and go into our first stitch. Okay, then what we need to do is create a loop of yarn with our finger. So what you want to do is just wrap the yarn around your finger, like so, and then hold on to your project. Okay, so just wrap the yarn around your finger like that. This is what's going to create our loop. Okay, and then you want to put your hook to the right of that bit of yarn that's closest to your project, so just on top of it on top of it. Then you want to go behind oops, what needs to be on top. You need to go underneath and grab this bit of yarn here. Okay, So you're on top of this bit of yarn. You're going underneath and you're going to grab this bit of yarn. And then what we need to do is bring this bit of yarn around underneath this bit of yarn. And what I find is easy is just to move your finger bend your finger over. So when you grab it, bend your finger and that pulls this bit of yarn over. So it makes it a lot easier and less fiddly. And then you need to bring that through that bit of yarn that you've hooked through the stitch. And then you've got your three loops. Then you can let go of your loop, yarn over as normal, pull through all three. And that completes the half double crochet loop stitch. You've done a half double crochet there but you've kept a loop here, which is all nicely knotted into place. And we're going to do that for each stitch across. Okay, you ready? <laughs> so same thing again, we yarn over, then we go into the next stitch. Then we need to put our finger underneath, wrap the yarn around your finger, just underneath. Then I grab my project just to give me some sort of security there and then we need to put our hook over the top of the bit of yarn on the right which is nearest our project over the top and then underneath we're going to go underneath it I'll move my finger out of the way you're going underneath it around and then you're going to grab this bit of yarn and you need to bring that yarn literally through the stitch and the easiest way to do that is to pull your finger down and that pulls that bit of yarn here this side out the way so you don't have to move your hook very much and then put it through the stitch okay then we yarn over pull through all three to do a half double crochet and secures our loop and you don't need to worry if you get different size loops because it doesn't matter for this project because what we're going to do at the end is we're going to cut these loops so we get single strands and if you get ones that are different lengths it doesn't matter you can always trim it down with some scissors so we do the same thing again, we yarn over first and go into the stitch as if doing a normal half double crochet. Then we need to get our finger, it depends on how you hold your yarn, but you need to get your finger underneath, you need to have the, the yarn over the top. Okay, then I, then I hold my project and that gives me some security. Same thing again, we're going to put our hook over the top, the bit of yarn on the right, over the top, it has to go over, and then underneath you want to grab this okay so you're going over and then you need to grab this yarn you need to bring this yarn here that you've hooked for your stitch the easiest way to do that is like I said before is to move your finger bend your finger and that pulls that yarn out of the way allowing you to bring that through the stitch a lot easier then you can let go of the loop yarn over pull through all three Okay, so I'm going to do that in each stitch across. I'm going to do a loop stitch in each stitch across. It does get easier the more you do. You end up the kind of 
sort of routine of doing it. But it is fiddly to begin with. I mean, I hadn't done the loop stitch for ages until I designed this piece of grass and I'm trying to do it again. After not doing it for a long time, it was like, oh, really fiddly. So I'm actually amazed I'm able to do this on camera with a camera in front of me. But you do get used to the technique. You just gotta get your finger under that loop. And grab the yarn, pull your finger down. And there you go, you see all these little loops being created like that. It's quite a cool effect. So you're doing this in each stitch, one loop, half double crochet loop stitch in each stitch across. So you're keeping a stitch count of 18, you end up with 18 loops. And the next row is actually a simple row, it's no loops. Because I thought if I did loops in every row for 15 rows, it'd be a bit of a headache. So, And it still works really well, just having a simple row in between. But I'll show you what to do next in a minute. I really hope you'll give this a go, give it a try, because it's really fun. It's a little bit fiddlier towards the end, so I don't have anything to grab onto. Sort of hold it. Three there. so you can see. Two left. <laughs> a little bit fiddlier towards the end. So I like to hold on to my project when I do it, but I run out of project to hold on to. Sort of holding it with these fingers. There's the last one. Yay. So there we go. We've got 18 half double crochet loop stitches like so. Then what we're going to do is a nice simple row, chain one, turn, don't count that as a stitch, and we're just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch across, nice and simple. So one half double crochet in that first stitch, then one half double crochet in each stitch across. And be careful to keep your loop stitches out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to do that one half double crochet in each stitch across, being careful not to crochet into the loops. And then I'll come back and show you the next row, which is a loop row again. Okay, just come up to the last two. 17 and the last one, 18. Okay, so you should have just done a simple row of just one half double crochet in each stitch across. Still got a stitch count of 18. And now we're going to do another row of loop stitches. And basically what you need to do is just alternate. So over the next um, over the next 12 rows, so from rows 4 to 15, because each square has 15 rows and each square is pretty much going to be made up of half double crochets. So over the next 12 rows, you need to alternate between doing a loop row and a plain simple half double crochet row. So the next row we're going to do now will be a loop row, then the next row would be a simple row, then a loop row, simple row, loop row, simple row. And you can then turn it over and count how many rows you've done, but you need to do 15 rows in total. So, but over the next 12 rows, you're just going to repeat rows 2 and 3. Okay, so that's all you have to do. So the next row is going to be a loop row. So we chain one and turn. And again, we yarn over, go into the first stitch, put our hook, uh, finger under the yarn. I'm going to just hold my project with my thumb and this finger. Then hook goes to the right and grabs the yarn. I'm going to pull this finger down. So at this hooked yarn I can bring through the stitch, then let go of the loop, yarn over, 
pull through all three to do half double crochet loop stitch. Okay, so I'm going to do that for this row and I'm going to alternate between doing loop rows and single rows until I end up with 15 rows. Okay, like on here. But I shall show you. And again, you can just turn it over. If you lose count of how many rows you do, you can just count each. You can see these are almost like sets, if you can see the texture changes. They're like little sets, and each set has two rows. So you can easily count here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, you can tell that's got 15 rows. Okay, so I'm going to do that for 15 rows, alternating between loop rows and plain half double crochet rows, and then I shall come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so to the next stitch, my finger, put the hook to the right, grab the yarn, pull my finger down to get that hooked yarn through the stitch, yarn over, pull for all three. Okay, just going up to the last few stitches, 16, 17 and 18, okay and there we're done, let's get our scissors and cut our yarn, so you should finish your 15th row you should do 15 rows in total. You should finish on a simple row. And all I've done is I've alternated. There was our last row that I showed you, the simple row. Then we did a looped row, and then we went back with a simple row there. Then a looped row, and a simple row, looped row, simple row, loop row, simple row, loop row, simple row, loop row, simple row. So you're alternating between doing loop rows and simple rows and you should in total, if you turn it over, be easier to count, you should have 15 rows in total and it should be the same size as your road square. Okay, so now the fun part, um, what we're going to do now is we are going to turn these loops into grass and because of how they're crocheted, they're kind of knotted and twisted into place. So what we're going to do now is we simply just put our scissors into a loop and cut. So we get single strands and they don't pull out. You see they're quite knotted into place. If you've done it properly they should not, uh, not come out. So basically what you want to do is trim all of these loops, cut all these loops so they become single strands of what's going to be grass. So I am going to cut all these loops to open them up and then I shall come back. Okay, so I think I've got every loop, cut, trimmed every loop to open them up so it becomes single strands and now we've got our grass, it's brilliant. And then, I love the loop stitch, it's really hard but I love it. <laughs> Then what we need to do is to tie in our tail ends. So I'm just going to just sew that to the back, turn it over and then do the same as we did for our road. We sew over a little bit and then back in the opposite direction and trim the excess. You could effectively actually sew this up and make it part of the grass actually if you wanted to. So what we could do is this one just sew over a little bit just to knot it. We could sew over and back just to secure into place and then if you wanted to you could sew it up to there and then trim it down to the same length as your grass. And you've got another strand of grass. <laughs> uh, so there we go, there is our finished grass square. So I've shown you how to do a straight road piece and some grass, and you can see this will all start joining together. Um, but if, I, if you do struggle with the loop stitch, you can of course just do 15 rows of just half double crochet in green if you want, just to get a plain green square. But hopefully you'll give this a try because I think it's really fun and great texture as well for little ones to play with. 
Okay, so there we go. There is our first tutorial in our crochet along for our play road mat or play road blanket, however you want to look at it. And it's actually going to finish up being, it's going to be a four by five um, blanket or play mat. So, but next week I will show you uh, another square and uh, I hopefully you will join me. Um, I hope you managed to follow along and I hope this is a fun project, something a bit different to join me, crochet with me, because um, I like crochet with you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Cheers guys, bye!